So this is just a quick overview of a project I'm working on, a small project in which I am integrating Pocket Base with Next.js and that would include authentication, basic CRUD functions like create, read, update, and delete. And I just wanted to share with you how I'm doing authentication and create functions. So here I have a Pocket Base backend setup and it has two collections, the users, which comes by default, and then I have recipes, which have a bunch of details. For example, it has name, image, and a relation called user. So I will show you the front application, how it looks. So I can create a user. So I can say user1, name is user, email is user at default.com, and password is 128. And I can sign up, and I'm not going to save the passwords. And if I go to the back end, I can see that the user has been created. So now I can just log in. All right, so now currently we don't have any recipes, which only an authenticated user can create. So I can click on create recipe. I can give it a name, give it a type, cooking time, and then a picture. And I can create this in the recipes section. You can see that it got uploaded with a picture and the user is also assigned and then user can log out as well. So if I click log out, user is logged out and the navigation got changed again. So the cycle continues. I can log in back again here. So this is the crux of the application. I'm adding more features such as edit and delete. Just let me show you the code, how it works. So first of all, there's an app.js file in which we are initiating the pocket base SDK and restoring the auth store with load from cookie method. And this cookie is being stored when user logs in. And then we pass this pocket base instance to all the different components. And let me show you the login as well. So after all the validation and everything, we check for the data. First, we authenticate the user and it returns an auth data. This auth data is exported into a cookie and then saved in the document.cookie. I should mention that this is a quite a common approach to save information in a cookie but it is vulnerable to cross-site scripting so in my future video I'll talk about server-side authentication as well I'll be covering this whole application in more details where I will take you through step by step in another video also guys I'm thinking to make a full course on pocket base with Next.js from a beginner to advanced level. So I would like to know what would you like to see in that kind of course? And would you be interested in such a thing? Let me know in the comments down below. All right. Thanks for watching.